many immigrants come every year to the United States. Can you give us a brief history about you and your background? Yeah, I'm from Mexican descent. I'm 28 years old. I came here when I was five. Been here for 23 years. I became legal at the age of 18. So I've been legal for the last 10 years. Many come and have no way to maintain themselves and support themselves or their family. And at the time, who was the person that was financially taking care of you guys and how much was he making? My dad, and man, you're talking about maybe like $400 a week, if that. And he was the only one working at the time. It took my mom like two years, two, yeah, like two, three years for her to start working. And then and after that. A lot of the immigrants who come can barely communicate because of the language barrier. So what was the most difficult problem you had to deal with while trying to adapt to this new life? Yeah. Well, I mean, when I came here, I spoke a different language. Yeah. You know, even though I was young, you know, when I, I was in kindergarten, everybody was speaking to me in English. And I just, in my mind, I just like blah, 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 because I didn't know what they were saying. And, you know, adapting to the culture. So many of these immigrants are too scared or simply just don't know how to get the help they need. The Erie Neighborhood House is an organization that tries to help the immigration community and make their lives better. So when did you first hear about the Erie Neighborhood House? Uh, through my mom's friend. My mom's, one, my mom's friend was the one that helped her like get situated with work and stuff, going to school, learn how to speak English. This organization has already made people achieve their goals and better their lives for the future. What was so intriguing about them that finally made you go to them? My mom's friend was the one that kept, you know, telling her like, hey, you know, these people could help you. They could have you situated in a better place, in a better spot. And, you know, my mom has always been the type of person who's scared to take that first leap. But knowing, like knowing that other friend that told her about the situation, how her, how her situation financially was getting fixed, you know, that's, that's the one made my mom go, you know what, I think we have to give them a shot. I'm going to take you through many of the good things they do and have done. The Erie Neighborhood House has many programs to help their students or young children to better their education and strive for a better future. They also help many adults, mainly who are financially struggling and need help. They commit to their customers and try their best to help. The Erie Neighborhood House is a very friendly, caring, and supporting atmosphere. So when you first approached them for help, what were the employees like? My mom said, the heaven sent. You know, she said that everybody there, as soon as you open the door, they welcome you with open arms. And right away, they, they work as best, as best as they can to have you, to have you right. You know, like I said, I was young, man, so I don't remember much of it. But, you know, just from speaking to my mom about it. As you had just heard, they really do care about their people and what they are facing. Also, in an article on May 17, 2018, a girl named Solom explains her experience with the Erie Neighborhood House, making one of her main points that the Erie Neighborhood House was very supportive and inspiring to her and for her journey to success. The Erie Neighborhood House works their hardest and is committed to helping you and your challenges. So how committed were they to you and your problem? Right away, like I said. You know, they treated us like family, man, from one of my moms. I do remember, like, little, like, here and there. Um, but right away, like I said, as soon as we came in, you know, right away, they asked my mom, oh, does your son need something to drink? He eat already. You know, I was young. So for them to do that, you know, in my eyes, man, I always think it is good. On March 29th, an article was released talking about a woman who was receiving help from the Erie Neighborhood House. In this article, it is told to us that everyone worked really hard as a team to help her out and it was estimated to be around 50 hours of work. This shows us that the Erie Neighborhood House cares about your problems and treats them like they are their own. The Erie Neighborhood House also helps with legal issues to be able to be eligible for more opportunities. So at what point in your life did you realize that it was getting better? Once I became legal, man. You know, like I said, at 18, you know, because I tried to get a job at 16 but no social man so you know no kind of permit at all so i couldn't do nothing you know i couldn't do I, and if i did do something they were paying me in, in in loose change so once i became 18 you know i started getting more opportunities you know because i i, I was legal i was legalized in the united states in an article released on March 29, 2018, similar to what we just heard, it was informed to us that because of the Erie Neighborhood House, a woman named Victoria is now an SIL and eligible to apply to become a legal permanent resident after a period of one year. 
The Erie Neighborhood House also helps with families or people with financial issues or people who just need supplies to move on forward. After going through this whole process, what was the outcome at the end? My mom said we became financially stable, you know, and I know I keep saying my mom said, my mom said, you know, I live with both of my parents, but she said that going to, to them was probably the best thing we did other than coming to the United States. On May 17, 2018, an article talks about a woman who wanted a better education but didn't have the money and tools to do so. With the help of the Erie Neighborhood House, she was supplied with what she needed, and the outcome being that she was able to enroll in the ABE program, which is a program that gives adults an education who couldn't get one before. Any last words you would like to say to anyone that may be interested into going into the Erie Neighborhood House? Yes, go to it. Don't, don't ever doubt yourself on, on not going for help especially when it comes to things like this you know like for example like immigrant students that don't want to do the, the DACA go for it you know I, I understand they're saying that they might take it away or they might put it on hold or the to file for it is gonna be a lot more money whatever go for it man cuz a lot of a lot of this this younger generations they don't have a choice to come here you know so if your family needs them, and if your family needs help, go to these people, man. They're going to make your life a lot better. To close this off to anyone who needs help and is struggling with their life financially or any type of way, go to these people. It is scary, especially for immigrants, to seek for help, you know, not knowing what the outcome would be and may lead to them not being here anymore but with this program you will get the help you need there are many articles evidence showing that they have helped so many people and better their lives getting this person to tell their side and experience may get a lot of people to go to them because it's different when you hear somebody say it from their own words and just reading articles to anyone i just want to end off saying that if you do need help, go to them. Contact information is given and they will treat you like their family. They will make your problems theirs and they will do whatever they can for however long to help you and have the best outcome possible.